Yo, what's up? My name's Dave and you suck at programming, except today you suck at using the command line. I'm gonna show you how to fix it, all right? Today we're gonna talk about timing commands in Bash, how to time things on the command line. This is super easy. So let's say you're on the command line and you wanna run a command like echo hi. All it does is print hi back to you, right? Pretty fast, shouldn't take long. Well, did you know that you can run the time command in front of it? And what does this do? It runs your command and then it gives you timing statistics at the bottom, real, user, and sys. I won't go into details on what those are, but the real one is actually pretty much close to your clock time or how long it actually took. We can verify this, we can run something like sleep two with the time command and then after two seconds you should see that it finished and it took around two seconds. There's other things that happen on your computer so it's not gonna be perfect. That's a really simple way to time commands but things might get a little hairy and let's talk about how things can get hairy, all right? So let's say we wanna time something that has sudo in it. So sudo runs something as, in this case, the root user. So when I execute it's gonna ask for my password, I'll type my password in and you can see that it did what we expected. It printed high and it printed this and the sudo command, all that did was run it as the super user. What if we had those arguments backwards? What if we called sudo time echo high? What would happen? Well, look at that. Isn't that weird? The output's slightly different. Why is the output slightly different? Are we running as root? Well, we were running as root in the first one, so why would the output be different? Here's a really fun thing. You ready for this? Let's look at the type of sudo. Sudo is an external command. Let's look at the type of time. Time is a shell keyword. Time is built into the shell, sudo is not. So when we ran this command, sudo is an external command, it didn't run the time that was built into the shell. In fact, it didn't even run echo that was built into the shell. It ran both of those as commands. We can verify this by running type dash a time and type dash a, uh, what was the other one? Echo. So you can see the first thing is these are shell built-ins or a shell keyword, but then there's external command variants. So when you call sudo, it runs the external command. We can verify this by running it ourselves. We could run user bin time, uh, where is it? There we go, bin echo. Hi. And we get the same output without having to run sudo, without having to escalate our privileges. So this is interesting. Make note of this. Sometimes commands you're running, they may be built into the shell or they may be external commands. And the order of operations you run them, like if you were to run sudo time or time sudo, can affect that. The easiest way to know is to run the type command, type dash A, and see what happens. Also, let's uh, expand on this a little bit. These commands can be slightly different. So let's talk about the time command. If I were to man time, I can see on my Mac system, I have a lot of arguments here. I have dash A, dash H, dash L, dash O. There's a whole bunch of stuff that time can do on a Mac. What if I run help time? There's only dash P. Help is what's built into the shell. Man is for the external command. This is how to time things in Bash, and hopefully I demystified it a little bit for you.